Hello world, I'm Zenit and welcome back to my legacy hack the box let's hack. Now I'm going in blind. Last time we found that this may be a vulnerability that we may actually be able to exploit in here. We also found like this neat tutorial which shows us how to search. Ah, come on, am I stupid? What's going on? No results from search? Oh, that's, that's weird. Okay, search MS08, maybe? Okay, so instead of using... Instead of using dashes, we should use underscores. Maybe that's it. All right, okay, we have an exploit. Microsoft service, blah, 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 stack corruption. This sounds like we can execute a command. So let's use this one. Clear, we have a metapreter. Okay, that sounds nice as well. Let's show the options. Woo, that's a lot of things. What What's happening here? Exit phone threat. Not sure what this means. The L host, of course, IPA. This is our host. Set L host, which stands for listener host. Let's show our options again. Options. And then we have the R host, which is our guy that we scanned over here. This one. Set R host. Boom. Zack. Run. Maybe that's gonna work. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Let's see what the tutorial has to say. So the tutorial for this thing, blah, blah, blah. It sets the R host with it that show targets, target. Okay, so this default show payloads. Windows shell, okay, they're doing a reverse TCP shell. Maybe Metapreter Maybe it doesn't like Metapreter. Sometimes Metapreter is not welcome. Yeah, you can see something didn't work out quite. So let's show the payload. Usually a reverse shell, just a default reverse shell. Which one were they using? Maybe let's just use the same they were using. Let's use the Windows shell reverse TCP. Why not? Uh, let's show the options. Did it take what I wanted? All right, let's run it. <laughs> Rim, no, run. So the exploit seems to be working, but we don't get an active connection. This can have multiple reasons. Let's set the all L port to be 80. That usually works. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't work. So maybe, yeah, let's abort this session and let's show the payloads. Um, can we grab in here? Grab meter. Okay. No, we have to go through it one by one and find like a metapreter because metapreter is just so much more fun but um, you know what for now let's just run this one let's uh, scan vuln result this one and then we get a shell So we can like grab this and show that we got the shell. Let's save this into our home legacy and then we type in shell. Ah, come on. I hate this shell. Boom. Okay. Where am I? <laughs> yeah, I suck at Windows. Ah, come on. Where am I? Windows. <laughs> 
who am I? It doesn't... What? I wasn't able to run this. Who am I? It's not... CMD, who am I? Do I have to type in slash A? I don't know. ID, ah, dear. Okay, that's taking forever. Let's, let's, no, let's not abort the session. Okay, something went, something, something went off the rails there. So let's start, let's reconnect. Okay, now it doesn't, uh, oh, <laughs> did we, did, did I break the machine? Ah. <laughs> uh. Show sessions, no actives, ah, come on, did I, I was on the machine. I'm so stupid sometimes. Show payloads. Let's go with Metapreter because it's a more powerful shell. Set this, ah, set payload to this one. Now let's show the options and let's run it. Uh, why? We were on the machine and then I did something stupid and now we're not on the machine anymore. Did I... Okay. Is the machine actually still, still up? Okay, we can ping it, which is a set L port to 443 maybe, and then run this one. Ah, oh, please work. Ah, oh, please work. Why? Connection timeout. Ah, oh, set all L to be 80. I think I messed it up. I think somehow the connection didn't get closed and now... Uh, let's, let's actually reset the machine to point zero. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, I'm happy that this is a it, that, that I have the VIP plus thing that I can do all these things. I'm not sure if you can do that if you don't have it. I don't know. I had to get it to like finish the challenge I was working on. But does that mean I get a new IP? Oh no, please not. That's taking forever. What's happening? But yeah, if we take a look here. Somewhere in here, in all this convoluted mess, we, we got it. We were able to get like this uh, shell session. What did we do? Somehow now it's broken. I have no idea why. But let's take a look. Okay, this is the new IP. Let's type that in our notes. New IP is this one. So let's set the R host to this IP and then run it. Now we have Metapreter help. And now we can basically dump everything. <laughs> nice. I have no idea what this UID means, so I was hoping it would translate it. Can I get like 
Um, okay, core commands, kill, run, exit, no, we don't want that. There is, I think, an upgrade command. Something like upgrade. Let let me take a look at my at my handy dandy cheat sheets. Somewhere in here I have like a full list of cheat sheets. And let's take a look. Let's search for matter predator. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh. Okay, yeah, that's for this one. Load PowerShell. Yeah, let's load PowerShell. That's gonna help me a bit. Load PowerShell. Nice. And let's just... Can I type in who am I in here? No, we tried that. Help. Can I PowerShell execute? <laughs> who am I? Come on, I just want to find out what my username is. <laughs> Why is that so hard? Let's drop in the shell. Who am I? Isn't it? So let's... Oh, no, 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 okay, cd into, what's the structure, c, users, cd into c, let's dir, then we have, let's cd into document, uh, documents, and settings, <laughs> that works all right and let's let's actually dear the administrator uh, where the hell is that file mm. yeah now we've got access the hardest thing to do is to actually find out <laughs> where the flag is yeah Okay, that doesn't work, huh? So let's dear administrator my documents. Let's see the into administrator. And let's dear in here and dear my documents. What? Um, what directory of C documents and settings administrator file not found? All right, let's exit out of here. And let's get some help. Maybe there is some cool things we can do. Can we, can we PowerShell execute LS? Can we PowerShell shell arch help okay i i have to learn more about metapreter it looks like <laughs> we can change the desktop <laughs> ah. ref to self Yeah, let's let's check the running processes. Why not? Maybe oh, maybe in here. Get UID. Get you. 
All right, we are anti-authority system. We have already rooted this machine, so to speak. That's what happens if you, if you, if you, <laughs> that's what happens if you use legacy system with matter predator and then we can just copy paste this boom zack dot root and now we just need to find the flags find flags that's that's gonna be the hardest part <laughs> to be honest because i have no idea how that's supposed to work I also have no idea why the PowerShell things doesn't work. So let's PowerShell shell. Oh. The handle is invalid. Okay, let's let me check this out. And the next time maybe we can do something cool. So thank you everybody for joining today and see you in the next episode of this legacy system. Bye-bye.